Police have made an arrest for a fire that killed three people in a Winchester apartment building. What we've learned about the investigation tonight. An inmate wasn't on the run for long after police say he escaped from a transport van. Why his mother says she was hoping he would get away. I'm Jennifer Palumbo in Nashville, where UK fans are celebrating the Cats' win over the Crimson Tide. We'll have live team coverage coming up. This is WKYT News at 11. Good evening. The weekend has arrived, and it looks like the warm temperatures we've had lately will stick around. But you may have to dodge some rain or even a few storms as well. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell starts us off. He has your no-wait weather forecast, Jim. That's yeah, the only issue, Sam. Temperatures, if you just went in looking at our seven-day forecast, and you looked at the weekend part of it, you'd be like, man, this is perfect for those temperatures, 70s and 60s, hanging out with us. But the problem is we will have those rain chances returning to the area, but the warmer air will be dominant through the weekend and most of the next week until that cooler air tries to start fighting back toward the end of our seven-day. Yeah. Out there tonight, you can see a nice clear picture all the way back toward downtown. With our temperatures coming in here in Lexington around 53 degrees, humidity's up, winds are coming in out of the east northeast as well, around six miles per hour. Let's take it hour by hour through the overnight and show you what happens. There might be a passing shower during the overnight into the early morning, but most of us should be in pretty good shape, dry. We're likely going to hover in the upper 40s, low 50s for lows. Then we get into the afternoon tomorrow, and that's when we start tracking our shower chances, at least a few into the area. There you see some of that rain showing up off in the distance. Daytime highs tomorrow in the low 70s. The reason we're getting in on that rain, all of this moisture, it's going to look a little more impressive tomorrow, is on the move and headed right for Kentucky. We will track it into our area hour by hour coming up at around 11 12, Sam. Tonight, a man has been arrested in connection to a fire that killed three people and injured six others at a Winchester apartment building. Police have charged 55-year-old Jackie Heisel Jr. with manslaughter, but investigators still have not said exactly what caused the fire. Tonight, our Garrett Weimer talked to people who live at that apartment complex. It's our top story at 11. Neighbors here are shaken, shaken by the fire, by the losses, by the arrest. They say the whole situation has been a nightmare. Brick by brick, piece by piece, those who lived here will have to rebuild their lives. And they're the lucky ones. I was just thinking, my God, I feel sorry for those poor people trapped inside and those firefighters that are trying to fight that battle and help save those people. The coroner says 36 year old Donald Heisel, 29 year old Tina Reynolds, and 71 year old Dixie Everman all died as a result of the fire. The daylight just brought the ugliness, you know, the ugliness that occurred at night to light. And just, I knew it was going to be horrific because I saw the cops and I, you know, the things I smelled and the things I saw, the things I heard, I, I knew it wasn't going to be any better in the daylight as opposed to it was in the night. Hours later, Jackie Heisel was arrested and charged with manslaughter. His son Donald died in the fire. Heisel's mother, Alice Gray, says Jackie asked Donald to come spend time with him before the fire broke out. He was such a great grandson. <laughs> And I loved him so much. And he was always a good person. The building's gone, and so are three of neighbors' friends. But their pain will last long after the smell of smoke drifts away. In Winchester, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Beacon of Hope, a homeless shelter in Winchester, is collecting donations to give to the families who lost their homes in that fire. And they're asking for donations tonight of combs, hairbrushes, baby items, and shampoos. His time on the run didn't last long. Tonight, a Breathitt County kidnapping suspect is back in custody after police say he escaped from a transport van. Police say they arrested David Haddix a few hours after the escape, along with three other people with him. But Haddix's mother told us tonight she hoped he would get away. Monique Blair has the story. Police say David Haddix jumped out of the back of a jail transport van here near the corner of Kentucky 52 and Colts Fork Road. Three hours later, he was arrested about two miles away. Police caught Haddix on Miller's Branch Road after a witness saw him getting into a car. Three other people were also inside that car Jesse Fugate, Tyler Fugate, and James Bagley. They were each charged with hindering apprehension. Do you think they knew each other? Yes, uh, one of the subjects had just got out of jail at 2.54 today. The, the escape was at 1. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of obvious that, you know, he, he knew that uh, it was what was going on. 
Haddix was arrested last June on kidnapping and robbery charges. Prior to breaking out of the jail transport van Friday, he was in court answering to those charges. His mother says he did not commit those crimes, which is why he tried to run away. All he wanted today was an hour to hug his mother who is sick and to see those two little boys sitting over there, his sons. But now another charge will be tacked on to Haddox's record, escape. And his mother says this isn't the first time he's tried to break free. That'll be in his second escape charges because they caught him crawling through the roof, love his heart, in jail, so that was an escape charge. Haddox's mother says she was hoping police would not catch her son. I mean, I was rooting for him. I won't lie to you. I'm a mother. Anybody in the same situation would feel the same way if it was their son. In Breathitt County, Monique Blair, WKYT. Chief Spicer says Haddock's escaped from the jail transport van by kicking the back door open. The game may have been in Nashville, but it felt more like home for the UK basketball team tonight. The Cats began their run in the SEC tournament against Alabama, and most of Bridgestone Arena was a sea of blue. Lee K. Howard begins our team coverage with highlights of tonight's game, and Lee K. UK took it to them. Yeah, they absolutely did, Sam. You know, John Calipari had said that the first game of the SEC tournament is always the toughest. I'm not sure the Wildcats took that message to heart tonight. Kentucky with the home court advantage, like he talked about in Nashville tonight, taking on Alabama. In the first half, Kentucky up by six. Tyler Eulis drives. He's going to get fouled. And the tough shot to fall. Kentucky was up nine after the made free throw. Lots to smile about tonight. Later in the half, Jamal Murray throws it up to Marcus Lee with the stuff. Kentucky up by 10 at the break. Raise your hand if you're going to win this game. Second half, Kentucky up by nine. Euless, the deep three pointer. Wildcats had a season high 13 threes in this one, including four from Alex Poitras. Under three minutes left in the game, Isaiah Briscoe comes up with the steal. Murray, the dunk. Murray had 23 points to lead all scores. Kentucky wins big 85-59. Our Rob Bromley is in Nashville where the Big Blue Nation is celebrating. Hey, Rob. Hello, Lee Kay. And the Cats bust out of the gate and begin this postseason with a bang. And at back to the beginning of the game, Jamal Murray and Tyler Eulis not hitting. So Alex Poitras steps up and shows off his outside game. He had only hit two three-pointers all season. He hits four tonight, as you said, finishes with 20 points. You know, I've been hitting shots in practice. been confident. You know, we do a lot of shooting. The guards do a lot of shooting. We do a lot of shooting in our, in our drill work, our skill work, too. You know, so I was just confident with it. Um, honestly, this is a surprise to everybody. He came out and, you know, he was hitting shots, knocking them down. And I feel like they were doubling him in the post, so he just wanted to get away to get some open looks. And he stepped out, they left him, and he knocked down shots. How good are you guys when, when the outside shots are going? Very, very good. And especially when Alex is playing like that. Why? What difference does that make? Because it gives us an inside presence and an outside presence. All right, now you heard Tyler Eulis say everybody was surprised. Not quite everybody. I'm going to have that coming up a little bit later in sports. Right now, Jennifer Palumbo here with me and a lot of blue here tonight. It really was, Rob. Bridgestone Arena looked more like Rupp Arena with all the blue and white. It's expected to be the biggest crowd so far of this SEC tournament. And the celebration quickly moved from inside Bridgestone Arena to the country bars outside on Broadway. Well, long as scale plays good, everybody keeps staying together. Go far as a <laughs> sky's the limit. <laughs> Tell me about the game. It's cold out here, but it's hot inside. Those cats are ripping it up. It was awesome. This is our first SEC tournament, so it's rock. Loved it. C A T S. Cats, cats, cats. It was awesome. The we game. had a great time. Yeah, lots of cheering involved. <laughs> the game was magnificent. It was excellent. Yeah, we had a great time tonight. And the, and the crowd in there, Big Blue Nation. Oh my, the whole entire arena was full of blue, which was a little bit more exciting for us as Cats fans. We loved it. <laughs> Absolutely. Go Big Blue! <laughs> That was Miss Kentucky Clark Janelle Davis, one of the thousands of UK fans here who are enjoying the Cats' strong start in the SEC tournament. And Rob, of course, now their attention turns to tomorrow. They'll be trying to get tickets to tomorrow afternoon's game and looking ahead and hoping that this weekend ends with another SEC tournament title. Good win for the Cats. And as I said, coming up in sports, the person who was not surprised <laughs> by what Alex Poitras was able to do tonight. That's it for now from here in Nashville. Sam, back to you. Robin Jennifer, thank you. And for more UK and SEC tournament coverage, just go to our website, WKYT.com.
Thousands of people gathering for a Donald Trump rally in Chicago tonight, only to find out it had been canceled at the last minute. Find out why in nine minutes. And then newly released surveillance video showing what happened inside a Lexington liquor store when police say a man barricaded himself inside for hours. For years, you posted your whole life online. But what happens to those memories when you're gone? They say life is complicated. It, wh where do you see death? WKYT investigates digital life after death, Monday at 6 on WKYT. Kentucky mornings start here. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. Choosing a college is about setting a course, a path that leads to your destination. At EKU, the adventure is what lies in between. Eastern Kentucky University. Great journeys begin here. This weekend at American Freight, two mattress sets, any size, only $298 complete. Get a twin and a full, a full and a queen. Get a queen and a king, two kings, two queens, two mattress sets, any size, only $298 complete. Famous names like Simmons, Stewart, and Hamilton. Free layaway till tax refund this weekend only. At American Freight in Lexington, 272 West New Circle Road, next to Walmart, across from Jalapenos. Phone 226-0008. Toyota's number one for everyone sales event is in full swing at Kentucky's number one Toyota dealer, Green's Toyota of Lexington. Save up to $5,000 off MSRP on new Toyotas with our Green Saver coupon. Special APR offers available, including 0% APR on our most popular models. And get up to $2,000 customer cash on 13 different models. Hurry in for Toyota's number one for everyone sales event. Going on now at Green's Toyota. Great people, great cars, great Green's. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 98.1 The Bull. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with meteorologist Jim Caldwell. It was a cloudy end to the work week out there for many folks across central and eastern Kentucky. Just hard to get those clouds to clear up. We had them all day long, and tonight, they are with us. Let's check outside and see what we've got. Right now in Lexington, we're at 53 degrees, 52 down toward Richmond. And you actually see a few of those pockets of clearing showing up. The problem is, it's at night. It's not going to help you out a whole lot at this point. We want them during the daytime hours to get in a little, on, uh, a little sunshine and some warmer temperatures, even though we were in pretty good shape. We got into the low 60s for highs earlier today. Things are going to change, though. We're going to watch this system continue to roll toward us and push more and more moisture into the southern states, and then eventually that moisture will make an appearance around here as this area of low pressure will start tracking toward the north and will also allow for that uh, big push of moisture to come calling for us across Tennessee into Kentucky and we'll track some scattered showers because of that, at least initially, going into your Saturday. Now, Sunday, I think it's going to be a little more on the widespread side as far as rain coverage is concerned. Let's take it hour by hour. And as we do, you can see temperatures in the upper 40s, low 50s overnight. Clouds start to thicken back up, though, as that moisture starts to thicken up again. More showers hanging out to our west, though, closer to Interstate 65, at least overnight. A small chance of that happening. Get into the afternoon and evening hours tomorrow. It's kind of a hit and miss, not a washout by any means anywhere across central or eastern Kentucky. It's very quiet overall because we're not talking about a big wall of water for Saturday at least. You might even hear an isolated clap of thunder or two. Highs in the low mid 70s, certainly a possibility. Then you can already start to see what's coming for us late Saturday night, going more so into Sunday. A bigger, more organized push of rain, where you see some of those yellows, those oranges, indicating a heavier little batch of rain. Maybe even some thunderstorms embedded within that. Certainly a good possibility for the type of air mass we have around here. Then we get into more chances through the day. We're at 10 o'clock. We're now into the afternoon and into the evening hours. We're tracking more in the way of rain, with temperatures stuck in the upper 60s in many locations. Now, there will be a few that probably try to cross over into the low 70s as well, but 
Upper 60s, uh, a safe bet for many locations across the entire area. Rainfall wise, it's in the big rain producers. We're just looking through the early morning hours on Monday. There's the weekend rain itself, and you're talking better than an inch or so in some spots. So you might have some heavier little uh, pockets of rain in a couple of locations, but uh, overall, not a complete washout for anybody anywhere you go. Now, our seven day forecast, as we look ahead here, you will see the rain chances. They stay pretty dominant from one end of the seven day to the other. One of the positive things coming your way, or at least for me, it's, it's making me so happy, is this the fact that we go into Saturday night into your Sunday and we start talking about daylight saving time. Here it comes back for you. Nice long evenings, plenty of daylight. So that's the positive spin you can take away from this otherwise uh, wet weekend, it looks like, Sam. So shower storms, so we set our clocks up. All the good stuff, I guess. <laughs> if the meteorologist is happy, we're all happy. Well, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Finally, somebody gets it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well, the House appears to be close to passing its version of a state budget, and it could be setting up a battle with the governor. An update in seven minutes. During the Lexus Command Performance Sales Event, to turn around jumper. there's always cause for celebration. Oh, are you kidding me? With extraordinary offers on the exhilarating IS. The thrilling GS and the powerful RC Coupe. The buzzer. Because thrills like this only happen during the Command Performance Sales Event. Lease the 2016 IS 300 All Wheel Drive for $339 a month for 36 months, and we'll make your first month's payment. See your Lexus dealer. Every morning, millions of Americans start their commute in their cars. Knowing AAA Auto Insurance is there should anything not go as planned. And every morning, those same people also leave behind their homes. Knowing AAA home insurance is there, should anything not go as planned. Insurance that's not just insurance. For the last five days, 17 hours and 23 minutes, you've been a passenger. Mazda's Sky Active technology makes it good to be a driver. Buying a new energy efficient refrigerator or freezer? Well, get paid to upgrade. Energy Star Appliance Rebate Program help you earn cash back on a range of Energy Star certified appliances. Just visit our website to see how to get paid to upgrade. South Kentucky RECC and Jackson Energy, your Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. It's spring. Time to tackle the tackle box. Get organized. Untangled. It's time to get ready. Stock up. Maybe try something new. In chartreuse, this year, let's go wacky and weedless. So you get the monster, and your buddy can get the net. Cabela's Spring Great Outdoor Days, the biggest sale and event of the season. Get 30% off all in-stock Cabela's fishing rods, in-store and online now. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump canceled one of his rallies tonight because of safety concerns. Trump's campaign made the decision after protesters packed into the arena in Chicago where the rally was supposed to be held. There were isolated confrontations between some members of the crowd after the event was canceled. Trump never arrived at the arena. He had been expected to hold a rally also at the Duke Energy Center in Cincinnati on Sunday, but his campaign says that will not be happening. The campaign is still looking for a site in Cincinnati to hold a rally either Sunday or Monday. New tonight, Georgetown police say a theft led to a child pornography arrest. Police say that Damian Humphrey's roommate stole his cell phone and gave it to another person. But investigators say while testing the phone, that person found child porn images on it and called police. Police obtained search warrants for the phone in Humphrey's home and say they found more child pornography images. They then arrested Humphrey. Today, for the second time, a Lexington man was sentenced for killing his wife. A judge sentenced Donald Southworth to 15 years in prison for manslaughter. 
Back in 2010, police say his wife, Umi, died after being beaten at the couple's home. A jury convicted Southworth of murder two years later. But the Kentucky Supreme Court later overturned that conviction, saying prosecutors used inadmissible evidence. Southworth took an Alford plea to manslaughter last month. Tonight, surveillance video has been released showing a standoff inside a Lexington liquor store. Police say while they were chasing Timothy Caldwell Wednesday night, he ran into Corner Liquor on Georgetown Street. One of the employees in a store hid in a cooler when Caldwell ran in. Police say Caldwell refused to come out for hours, and at one point, they say he pointed a gun to his head and took a bottle of liquor off the shelf. The store's owner says he watched the whole thing on surveillance video. He came out from this back room area, out this narrow door. He found a firearm. Around six hours after the standoff began, police were able to rush into the store and arrest Caldwell. No one was injured. Caldwell faces more than 20 charges, including wanton endangerment, burglary, fleeing from police, and possession of a handgun by a felon. New tonight, House Speaker Greg Stumbo says the House will not approve Governor Bevin's proposed mid-year budget cuts to Kentucky's colleges and universities. The governor wants 4.5 percent cuts, but Stumbo said the House will pass a budget next week that does not include those cuts. Governor Bevin has said he will not sign any budget that does not include the higher education cuts. Lee Kay's back in with sports now, and the Cats are moving on in the SEC tournament. Lee Kay. Yes, they are. Kentucky's playing its best basketball in the month of March, and that continued tonight. And after the break, we head back out to Nashville. We hear from the Wildcats after the big win over Alabama. WKYT's High School Game Time is brought to you by Eastern Kentucky University. Everybody in the pool. A new swimming pool in your backyard this summer means... Double the fun for your family. What better way to keep the kids entertained? Think you can't afford it? Then think again. The big 15 by 24 Econo Line pool from Blue World Pools is only $3.99. Yes, $3.99, and that super low price includes pump, filter, liner, ladder, and a free automatic pool vacuum. That's right, all that fun, only $3.99. But that's not all. That price even includes installation on your ready site. What a deal! You may choose to step up to the next level with our midline pool or really turn your backyard into a summer party paradise with the classic pool from Blue World Pools. Our top-of-the-line classic is famous for its low maintenance and high-style beauty. Nothing brings the family together like a backyard pool. The summer barbecues, the parties, or just hanging out and cooling off on yet another sweltering summer day. Beat that heat. Call Blue World Pools now and get your party started. Saturday's Powerball jackpot is $60 million. Are you happy with your bathroom? I wasn't. But for years, I didn't do anything about it. Like many people, I thought I didn't have the money. Until I learned about the brilliant solution from Bathfitter. Bathfitter puts a new bathtub right over your old one. Isn't that amazing? Bathfitter will measure and make you a new custom bathtub that they install right over your existing one with beautiful matching walls. That means you don't have to rip out your old tub so there's no demolition or ridiculous costs. And they do it all in just one day. That's my favorite part. Plus, you get to choose everything. Book a free consultation and find out for yourself. Here's a before and after photo. This is a gorgeous acrylic tub that fit right over the old one. And only Bath Fitter has seamless walls, which guarantee a watertight fit. When you change your tub, you change your bathroom, and that can change your life. I know because I did it. Call today or learn more at bathfitternow.com. Two years ago, eight Kentucky counties were awarded a National Promise Zone designation. The Promise Zone gives us a competitive advantage in applying for federal grants. It also provides additional assistance from federal agencies that oversee housing, education, economic development, agriculture, and safety. Federal and private investment will be maximized as a result. After two years, projects in the Promise Zone have received over $223 million. There are 64 Promise Zone partners with one goal. Success for our people, by our people. It's a promise. Building the only trucks with the best torque, best payload, 
best towing and best horsepower takes guts. Icing out the competition, that's the glory. Get a great deal during Ram Truck Month. Returning FCA US lessees finance and get 11,000 in total values on the purchase of a 2016 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab. Kentucky has won a record 28 SEC tournament championships. Tonight, the Wildcats began their journey for another one. UK's turning opener coming against an Alabama team that UK has already beaten by double digits twice this season. Cats needing a third win over the Tide to advance the Saturday semifinals. And Kentucky was calling long distance from Nashville. Alex Poitras with the three. Derek Willis then dials it in from almost the same spot on the court. And then how about Dominique Hawkins? taking the first shot that he sees from long range. With UK up 21 to 15, Tyler Eulis gets three the old fashioned way. Driving to the hoop plus the foul, Ashley Judd approves. Jamal Murray's three near the end of the half here tied Tony Delk for a record 32 straight games with a three pointer. Cats had six threes in the first half. Late in the half, Murray leaves it up for Marcus Lee. He knows what to do with it. Kentucky had a 10 point lead at the half. Second half we go. Poitras continues his long range shooting in his home state. That's three for three for Poitras. Kentucky up 11 with the shot clock winding down. Euless from deep. Euless finished with 17, and the threes would continue. Euless drives, kicks it out to Murray. That one goes through. That'll get the big blue crowd on their feet. But how about Alex Poitras? He entered the game two of 16 from deep, but he brought all of his long distance arrows to Nashville. Wildcats were up by 15. There's the arrow. Big night for Murray. He sets the SEC freshman three point record and scores a game high 23 points, a season high 13 threes for the Cats. And Kentucky advances with the win 85 to 59. Rob Bromley now joins us from Nashville. Hey, Rob. <laughs> Hello, Lee Kay, and you know if the Cats are knocking down shots the way they were tonight, they are going to be awfully tough to beat. And I said earlier that Alex Poitras had only hit two threes all season. He had only hit 24 in his career. Four tonight, and it was Isaiah Briscoe in the locker room right after the game who said there was someone with this team who knows if Alex is going to be on. And coach say he, he can, no, actually not even Coach Rob. Um, I said the condition coach. Say he can tell what kind of game Alex is gonna have within the first five minutes of the game. So. Why, what's, what's the giveaway? I mean, I don't know. You gotta you gotta go interview Rob for that. I just can tell by you know his body language, just what he looks like. That's about it, man. You know he, um, I can just tell within the first five minutes of the game what he's gonna do. And today I could tell, look in his eyes that he was gonna have one heck of a day and just be a beast out there on the court. Obviously, you're a, you're a confident shooter, but did you even see a night like this coming where you just red hot like that? Happened? I mean, yeah, I did. I mean, I was shooting, so. <laughs> no, nah, but nah, I'm just confident, you know. Uh, I was hitting the shots, you know, holding my follow through, everything like that. So there you have it. It is strength and conditioning coach Rob Harris who knows if Alex is going to be on. And the Cats shoot almost 55% here tonight and holding their opponent, holding Alabama down to 40%. Lee Kay, Georgia has just won by one point inside Bridgestone Arena. So they are moving on. That's it from here in Nashville. Lee Kay, back to you. All right, thank you, Robin. What an upset. Let's take a look at the bracket here. Looks like to this point, Texas A&M advances with a 72 to 66 win over Florida. The Aggies will get LSU in the semifinals. The Tigers top Tennessee 84 to 75 in the late game. That Rob just referenced, Georgia upsets the Gamecocks by a point. That is a huge upset. So now Kentucky will face Georgia tomorrow night in the semifinals. Well, after a first round exit in last year's Girl Sweet 16, Franklin County was poised for a better showing. Poised to make a run at a state title. The Lady Flyers beat Shelby Valley in the opening round today, taking on Campbell County in the quarterfinals. Second quarter, Anna Aristia. Out of the corner, her third three of the half. She was shooting like Alex Poitras. Later, the Lady Flyers led 33-26 at the break. In the fourth quarter, Deja Kilborn drives and scores. Franklin County on top, 39-33, with two and a half minutes to play. Final minute of the game right there. That's Princess Stewart finds the crease and gets the score plus the foul. She had 14 seconds left. Franklin County up three. They needed a stop, and they get it right there. Taylor Kloss 
gets called for the push up before that shot and Franklin County escapes with a 41 to 38 win to advance to the semifinals. It was tough, but uh, I knew that me and my teammates, we would pull out the win. We've been wanting to make it this far longer than anyone knows. We got some stops when we needed it and some rebounds and sure would have been nice to make a few more layups and free throws, but we're not going to argue at 630 tomorrow night about where we're playing. Mercer County also back in the Sweet 16 for a second straight year facing Holmes today in the quarterfinals. Second final seconds of the first quarter. That was Lexi Lake in the corner for the three. Puts the Titans up by six. Big second quarter here for Mercer County. Good passing gets it to Emma Souter. Mercer up 31 18 at the half. They had to hold on the rest of the way. Nice move there by Sagan Robbins. She had 21 points and down the stretch they go. Emma Davis to a cutting Emma Souter. Emma's everywhere and so are the winds in Mercer County. Season continues 59 55. They will play Franklin County on Saturday. I knew that we had the ability to get this far, but I mean, you just never know what's going to happen when you get here, so it's pretty amazing. I know our school had already made history for our girls team, and now we just get to keep pushing and hopefully win a state championship. I was so happy when the buzzer went off and we won. And on the other side of the bracket, Murray advances with a win over Owensboro Catholic. Butler edges E-Town 61 to 59, so it will be Murray and Butler in the late semifinal game. But with Mercer County and Franklin County playing tomorrow night, that guarantees that at least one Central Kentucky team will be in that championship game on Sunday. That'll do it for sports. Back with more after this. How do we put our incredible buying power to work for you? With Power Buy, Power Financing, Power Upgrade, Power Coupons, Free TVs, and more. It's our Power Sellathon for a limited time because nobody beats the rats. That's the sound of Sirius XM controlled by the largest touchscreen in its class. This is the sound of someone blowing past the last gas station for over 500 miles. That's the sound of four usually rowdy kids enjoying their favorite movie. And together, these are the sounds of a well-executed automotive symphony. Returning FCA US lessees can finance and get 6,500 total cash allowance on the purchase of the 2016 Chrysler Town & Country. It's Furniture World Superstore's biggest tax refund sale ever. Now's a great time to redecorate your home because Furniture World stretches your tax refund with huge savings store-wide, plus two years interest-free. Now at Furniture World, use your tax refund to refurnish your living room or dining room, update your bedroom, sleep better on a comfortable new mattress. We're serious about saving you big money. Get huge tax refund savings, plus it's interest-free for two full years. So hurry in and save during our biggest tax refund sale ever. Now at all five Furniture World Superstore locations. Lexington Overstock Warehouse is open this weekend to the public, so don't pay store prices. Get quality furniture and mattresses at incredibly low prices. Pillow Top Mattress Set 197. Deluxe Super Pillow Top Mattress Set 397. Go to LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com for more details. Choosing a college is about setting a course, a path that leads to your destination. At EKU, the adventure is what lies in between. Eastern Kentucky University. Great journeys begin here. Hi, I need a safe car. The Camry's really safe. 10 airbags, even has a backup camera. Wow, that could come in handy. Bye. Dad! Gotta keep my little girl safe. Don't worry. He'll only be like this for another 10 or 15 years. At least. It's Toyota's One for Everyone sales event with zero for 60 financing plus $500 bonus cash on Camry or $1,500 customer cash or a $179 a month lease. Here you go. Toyota, let's go places. Disney on Ice presents Treasure Trove, presented by Yo Kids, live in your hometown. Tickets start at $15. Great seats are still available. Now playing through Sunday at Rupp Arena. Visit Ticketmaster today. How do we put our buying power to work for you? Buy this 100% blended leather power reclining sofa for $9.99 and get the matching marker recliner free. 50 inch LED TV, $3.79. It's our power sellathon. Nobody beats the rats. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. A little wet, but still. 
not a bad weekend. No, it's bad. the weekend. It's the weekend. That's right. Even though Lee Kane, I'll be working it. Thanks, Sam. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you've got shower chances that'll likely start rolling into the area. I think a little bit better toward noon and into the five o'clock hour tomorrow. So it's kind of a, a sad day for the emoji cast. <laughs> Going to Saturday though, 72 year high. That's something to be happy about. Showers, thunderstorms possible. A little more widespread into your Sunday, and, and there you who, see my grumpy face. Yeah, and who thought the cats would be playing the Bulldogs? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's going to be a good matchup tomorrow night. All right, enjoy your weekend and the cats tomorrow.